Hi everybody, welcome back to CSN. I'm Gina Salazar, your host, and I am so excited to be the newest member of the team here at CSN. Mike is with me, of course, and Mike, we have been waiting for this coin for so long. It is so exciting to have them right here, ready it's to go. It's been exhausting. Right? It's been exhausting waiting for this coin. The United States Mint promised us this coin in 2022. They just, look, it's not really their fault. I mean, you know, if you follow it along, you understand it's not really on the United States Mint that they couldn't make this coin in 2022. They'd made it in 2021. So let's go back to 2021. In 1921, the United States Mint stopped making the Morgan Silver Dollar and started making the Peace Dollar. So 100 years later, for the 100th anniversary of that, they made a 2021 Morgan Silver Dollar and a 2021 Peace Dollar. As a matter of fact, they made five Morgan Silver Dollars that they're going to make, and they made the Peace Dollar uh, as well in 2021. It was just a momentous numismatic occasion. The United States government made in the Morgan Silver Dollars almost a million coins, made 200,000 of the Peace Dollars. It was a complete, immediate, and total sellout. The coins to this day, two years later, sell for massive premiums. They're one of the most highly sought after, uh, most highly uh, coveted coins that are in the numismatic market today. And so based on that, because the United States Mint wants to make coins that collectors want, so we're going to do it in 2022. Well, 2022 rolls around, there's a shortage of silver that's worldwide that has expanded to a quarter of a billion ounces. They had problems at the U.S. Mint. They're doing all these other things, a lot of things out of their control, and they couldn't make them in 2022. So now, finally, we have these coins released. And the United States Mint has said that they're going to do the Morgan and Peace Silver Dollar going forward. Okay, that this hopefully is not the last year. This is, and, and understand, this isn't a commemorative. The coin was to commemorate the 100th year, but it's an actual Morgan silver dollar. It's an actual piece silver dollar. It is a continuation of the original series. I mean, the Morgan silver dollar originally was made from 1878 to 1904, 17-year year hiatus, then the 1921, 100-year hiatus, wow. then the 2022, one-year hiatus, now the 2023. <laughs> so it's just a continuation of that. The peace dollar, 1921 to 1935, then a little hiatus to 2021, then mm -hmm. a one-year hiatus, then 2023. So basically two years in the making. And we had two years of pent up demand. Right. And the result has been predictable. Complete and total utter sellout on release. And here's the problem. The government in their infinite wisdom decided to only make 275,000 pairs. That was it. Wow. I, why didn't they make, they're gonna do the proof coins are gonna come out here shortly. They made 400,000 of those. That would make more sense. 275,000 is a drop in the bucket in terms of what is uh, happening in the marketplace in terms of collector demand. That's why it sold out instantaneously. You know, the United States Mint has a subscription program where you can, can sign up ahead of time to be able to get coins. Well, between the subscription program, the uh, dealer advanced release program and dealer allocation, by the time it was released, East. I mean, they hold back a few thousand coins so that people in the first 30 seconds on the website can get through. <laughs> and then after that, boom, complete and total utter sellouts. Already massive movements in the secondary market on these coins. This, however, these two coins are from our original allocation. And what does that mean? That means it's my original price at $349.95. That is really important to you as a collector. This is the original issue price, which is important because this is the Annex First Strike. That's 100% exclusive to us here at CSN. Mm -hmm. You can't get Annex First Strike anywhere but here. We could have made this $399 or $429 or $449 or $449. It doesn't make it. It would sell every single solitary one of them. And why is that? Because it's a Morgan Silver Dollar, the most popularly collected probably silver vintage coin in the world today, followed by the Peace Dollar. This is part and parcel of modern American numismatics is the Morgan and Peace Silver Dollar. And now we have them just as George T. Morgan, the original designer, intended it in absolutely perfect condition. As you can see, these are certified Mint State 70. From 1878 to 1921, the United States government made approximately a billion Mint State Morgan Silver Dollars. How many of those graded Mint State 70? None. Zero, 100%, zero, not one. So not one single one of those billion coins really represents 
what George T. Morgan anticipated and what he wanted to put out there when he originally designed the Morgan Silver Dollar. And so that is the thing that we get. We get the same thing in the peace dollar. They made hundreds of millions of peace dollars. How many in Mint State 70 in the early ones? Zero. Again, zero. So now we get, now not, they made 275,000 pairs. Understand, there's not 275,000 Mint State 70 pairs. Because mm -hmm. even though they're brand new, we got them from the Mint, you know, a week ago, it doesn't matter. Untouched by ungloved human hands, and there are still coins that are only Mint State 67, 68, 69. Right. Because of, you know, dust gets on the die and it ruins 25 coins. You know, there's a, a, a piece of lint gets on the, on, on the die and it ruins 75 coins. There, like, can we go to that reverse shot? of the Morgan silver dollar that you just had there. Okay, I've looked at Morgan silver dollars my entire life. And I can tell you right now, not a single solitary one of them has ever looked like that. Absolute, complete perfection with a relief where the eagle is popping off the coin. So you've got the same thing with the uh, reverse of the peace dollar right next door, where you've got that, that, that eagle literally looks like it's ready to take off and fly off mm -hmm. that coin. I mean, that's what you get with the continuation of these Morgan and Peace Silver Dollars. Like I said, completely sold out from the United States Mint. The key to this, our original pricing, $349.95. By the way, that's not per coin. That is for the pair. So what's that mean? We're $175 a coin. That's isn't that amazing? $175 yeah. a coin. From a pricing standpoint, the 1921s, you can't buy for $175 a coin. Right. You can't buy for $200, $225, $249. $249. Already, like the CC versions, $300, $400, $500. $400. You get these, but only our original allocation can you get at $349.95. Right, and these are a really hot item. I mean, everybody's oh. looking for these. Why not just come? You come right here and you can get it. You know you're going to get what you want and what you need to fill in your collection. Well, and I think that's a really important point because, look, if you're out there buying coins on the, on the Internet, and it's the Wild West out there, folks. And if you want to be a coin cowboy out there in the Internet Wild West, you go for it. I do that, and I go out there and do that so you don't have to. I mean, you, I spend 20, 30 minutes a day on social media just reporting scam coin ads. Wow. I even order some of those. And they said, I ordered some Silver Eagles the other day. You know, special pricing, I get them. And, of course, they knew they were going to be counterfeit. But they weren't even good counterfeits. That's why you buy. Look, wow. we bought these from the Mint. So here's the chain of custody. The United States Mint, the, us, the grading company, you. That's it. There's no, you know, there's no, none of this. Where does it come from? The provenance of this coin, the chain of custody is completely unbroken from the United States Mint directly to you. And then, of course, independent third-party certification annex guarantees that this coin is perfect. Because remember, in numismatics, like in coin collecting, as in any collecting, the single most important determining factor of value is what? Quality. Condition. The higher the grade, the more it's worth. And these coins are perfect. Remember, in coin collecting, we grade on a 70-point scale, not a 100-point scale. So what you've got here is min state 70 is perfect. There's no min state 100 or min state 71 or even 70.1. So this is perfect. It matters in terms of value. 1986 Silver Eagle, min state 69, $179. Min state 70, $4,000. What a I mean, difference. That's the difference grade makes. That's what the difference grade makes, particularly in terms of long-term collecting. So you have an absolutely perfect pair right here. Well, they are absolutely beautiful. And as you said, a CSN exclusive, you can only get it right here. And you know what you're getting and you know where it's coming from. That is such an important part of that, I think. Yeah, well, when you're, when you're collecting, and like I said, if you're going to collect something, everybody collects something, it, you know, right. might as well be money. <laughs> I, I, you know, I love that. At, at the end of the day, and each one of these, of course, an ounce of pure silver. So you've got that. So you've got the perfection. You've got the grade. You've got the exclusivity. You've got the sold out limitation. You've got the popularity of the Morgan and the Peace Dollar uh, with two years in the making, two years of demand, all pent up. You can get your coins if you get on the phone and get these while we still have the original pricing.